Alrighty then, good afternoon everybody, uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you once again with some more Fortune's Tavern, going to be continuing where we last left off. Now, I'm fairly sure this might be the last episode I do on this, it really depends, because there's not really too much else that's interesting to really do, at the moment at least it seems. Uh, we don't really have a lot we can do between quests unless we have a certain amount of renown We can't get more than the two quests each time so we end up having to waste a whole lot of time doing nothing There's no real like side missions or any kind of side quests we can do just inside our tavern You know serving beer or food or anything like that uh, Not to mention we're fairly limited it seems on what we can actually build like it's everything is Pretty much static, it seems, and where we can build it. And as per usual, I'll be playing the uh, same tracks from last time. Out in the background. Alright, let's see what we actually have right now for our quests at the moment here. So we have two easy quests, a recipe and the silver door knocker of foolishness. Okay, that seems like an odd thing, but okay. Let's go get it then. I'll take my lovely wasp with me. Actually, do I have another egg? Let me check my inventory quickly. Fire rune, blind rune. All I really want is the fire and healing runes. They're the only ones I care about. So no, I don't have any... I do not have any other... Eggs at the moment. Okay, let's see about initiating one of these quests. Let's go for... Yeah, let's go for the door knocker. Why not? They're both easy quests, so we're not even gonna... It's not gonna be very challenging for us. Oh, you poor murdered person. You were killed by pandas, I guess. I'm trying to beat this thing with my crudgel, but it's not quite working. What do we have here? Mojo! I found Mojo! And a little bit of cash. It's almost not really worth bringing an adventurer right now, unless I get something normal or above. Oh, Jesus. That... What the F is that? It's like, what is that monstrosity on a freaking normal quest? Wow, these poor guys got slaughtered. Looks like they came here to hang somebody and just got obliterated themselves. So, yeah, this is definitely a very, uh, very basic game. A lot of the same scenes get reused pretty much constantly. Doing my best to beat them. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, oh no, we missed a jar. 34 gold, keep going. I really do like these tunes. I, I, pick, I found some really nice tunes to play for this. I have to say. 39 gold. It's kind of like Balrum in the way, you know, it's it's very, uh, very, it seems very early-ish, you know, unrefined almost, I would say, and that it needs quite a bit more work to get it to a state that I would personally be, you know, adding a lot of, uh, or spending a lot of time playing it. Finding the lost item has increased by human renown by five. Do I wish to return to the tavern? Sure, let's go for it. Even though I'm just going out again. Let's get a new recipe for my tavern and hope it's something actually decent for once. Alright. And away we go. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna bother saving. There's no point. I'm not nearly getting my ass kicked enough that I would need to save. Alright, what do we got down here? See what I mean? Exact same kind of maps. Although it does have some interesting gameplay aspects to it with the monster breeding and whatnot. It doesn't really seem necessary almost at times. Ooh, nice. Drop some good gold there. I need to kill them all myself. I should almost leave this bee at home. What are you doing? Honestly, do I even care? Not really. He's trying to get at that monster, but he's failing horribly. It's one of the other things I kind of don't like as much, is that when you're behind a tree, it doesn't really disappear at all. So it's stuck just obscuring your vision. 
Anything in here? Nope, nothing here. Moving on. Oh, hello, minions of darkness. What the hell did that miss? Oh, well, that one didn't. This is a new zone. Never seen this before. It's funny, because I can enter in those tents, but I can't really do anything with them. What the hell was that? I cannot move. Wow, hello. Can't believe we literally get no visitors here. How'd you get through the Enchanted Forest? Oh. I know you. You must be the Keeper of Fortune's Tavern. It's been over 50 years since the Keeper has made it this far. Welcome to the Village of Greenleaf. Oh, so I finally made it to the Village of Greenleaf. Rosalind uh, Silvera, Mayor of Greenleaf. Come and see my home if you want to know more about Greenleaf. May even have some work for you if you're interested. Okay, so finally we get to an interesting point. Finally, at long last. As they slowly shuffle their way to the house, the book appears in your hands as if from nowhere. I swear you've seen it on the shelf of the tavern. I swear, I should just like unload all of the tavern's books into my inventory and just take it with me. Spare it the uh, teleportation costs. Ooh, who are you? Famous uh, Janetta Mage. Carlos uh, Folkfinger, okay. He said, it would be famous if I could leave this village. Do you want to see my wares? Sure, what do you got? Oh, Jesus. So he sells some really, really expensive things. It seems like it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of quest farming in this game to really get anywhere. I can't, you know, just improve my... Let's see your background. Came to Greenleaf about 12 years ago after getting lost in the forest. You probably noticed my pointy ears. I'm a half-elf. Promised my last career, so I ran away. I accidentally came here from the magic of the forest and I couldn't leave. Not that I'd want to. Alright, how can I help you? Though we all love our village, it'd be nice if we weren't all stuck in the forest here. I, for instance, would like to visit my family, and our ultimate goal is to be able to come and go. There's a legend concerning a sword that can cut through the fog of confusion the forest uh, casts. I have the hilt, but I need the blade and the pommel to reforge it. Shall we find the other pieces? Yes. Really, that's amazing. First thing you should do then is give you this. You receive the old sword hilt. No idea where the blade of the sword is, but I believe that the pommel, blue, a big blue jewel, is in the ensconed crown of the elf queen. No idea how you might be go about getting it though. If you somehow get it, you can travel back here without going through the forest using teleportation stone from the tavern. Lovely. Of course, the old witch we knew from the well wanted this thing, but she's not getting it. Lower that down a bit more. Yeah, there ain't no way in hell that uh, evil, evil witch is getting this hilt. Oh my god, a visitor! We never get visitors! It's a miracle! I used berries to force down my hair. Do you like it? Yes! Thank you! Glad you came to visit. What, you're not gonna reward me for the pleasantries? Revival mushroom, mojo leaf. I'm tempted to sell a lot of it. I mean, I got four of these? Yeah, sure. Let's sell two of them. Not all of them. Get a thousand blood candles. I've got nine of those, so I'll sell four just to get rid of some of it. Used to revive pets. Again, I don't really need as many as I have here. Because I've never, I've yet to actually lose my pet. Door is locked. That is a shame. Oh no. Don't get much meat in our diets. Most of the creatures around are beasts, but plenty of vegetables grow in the forest. Oh, you poor souls. Hunt and gather from the Enchanted Forest so the forest won't uh, let us leave. It'll always let us uh, back here when we get too lost. Or when we get lost. Alright, with that done, let's get the heck out of here then. And finish up our task. Found a recipe for fresh brains? Okay. <laughs> um... Um, okay, I wonder what kind of meal that is. Is it a main, and what the hell does it give us? That seems like the kind of thing that would be good for an evil tavern, actually. I'm assuming it'll give me evil renown. Let's go take a look at my table here. Recipes. Recipes. 
Nothing. Weird, I get a recipe for something and it doesn't even allow me to use it. That's kind of annoying. Kind of really annoying, actually. Got any rumors for me? Heard the call of some terrible creature. Yay, I got a new quest. Okay, let's go murder things. Wait, let me see if I can get another one. So I finally am able to have three quests a day here at least, it seems. Woohoo. Woohoo. What the hell? Any rumors? Don't have anything for me today. So yeah, three quests is my limit. So I finally... Oh, it's a hard one. Greta, the carrier of passion. Alright, then I'll have to save all of my fireballs for her. With a hard quest, I'd almost be tempted to take the, uh, take the, I'll stay, what the hell, the minion with me. Let's save before this one, because this seems like a tough one. Oh, jeez, we have some interesting creatures here. Indeed. Oh, I failed. Failed horribly there. Damn, getting my ass kicked. They're getting tougher here. It's a hard quest, though, so I'd expect as much, finally. I may actually die for once. 30 gold. Although the jars in this hard area don't seem to be giving me anything new. Wow, they just gained, like, super speed or some shit. That, seriously, I'm getting tired of my fireballs going directly through them and missing. What the hell is the bloody point? If I have to be like point blank F in range to use it. Whoa, looks like I just got stunned. At least the uh, combat's getting slightly more interesting now. Although I have no mana, so that's bad. Oh no! Almost had Cthulhu kicking my ass there. I don't know if my if my B goes down. I don't know if I'll have the uh, enough time to Let's see. Oh uh, no! So there's the sword hilt, reviving mushroom. Let's use that to heal myself, even though I've got like no mana left. Is this our enemy? No, that was too easy. Chest is empty! How dare you mock us! How dare you, sir! Oh wow, it's the exact same area we were just in, except slightly modified. Oh shit, son! And it's like I can't move, suddenly. Yeah, my crudgel would be good on the lower level guys, but it's not even going to help me here. God, it sucks being a weak tavern keeper and f having to have these pets do all my fighting for me. Blark. Then again, I could probably say the same thing about the dog in Balram. Wait, what? Okay, that was weird. Um... Are you guys... Nope, you're, mur you're gonna murder me. Why can't we just be friends? Why must you kill me? Blood candle. That is gonna get us back to Greenleaf Village here again? Nope, doesn't look like it. Not this time. Wow. This bee is unstoppable. Pretty damn cl Oh, jeez! And as I say it, he gets his ass kicked. Revive! Luckily I have a lot of revives. It's the first time I've ever had to use a revive, actually. Although I think my pet did die before I finished him off with my own ability. Afterwards, not that I have anything remotely like that now, but hey! Where the hell are we? Oh jeez, here comes a few guys to kick our ass. Oh damn. Must hide. Money. Woohoo! That gives us a little bit of Oh wait, nope. Still got this one. I'll take that. And away we go. 
Let me crank you up a little bit more. That should be good. It was a little too damn quiet. So it led us through this village again. I'm pretty sure we don't need to do anything here though, so yeah. Let's continue on to- oh my lord, it's a giant ogre. I earned 468 for defeating this famous boss. Wait, 468 gold? Some items, mojo leaf. Uh, Janetta Mage Rod. Janetta Mage Rod. So many rods I keep getting, jeez. What is with these creatures? That was a hard one, too. Well, we got quite a bit of cash, so I could probably get one of the new areas in here now. I suppose I might as well, why the heck not? And up we go. I believe this was the cheapest one. So we'll get this straw area here. How much money do I have left? A thousand. Uh, let's quickly head outside while we have the chance and run a pit fight. Gotta earn what little money I can every day. It just seems like you'd spend your whole time in this game farming like one little quest after the other to get a little bit of gold to finally, you know, get some new pets and maybe merge them together or something. I don't know, but it doesn't really seem like it'll be the most, you know, intriguing game in the world. <laughs> Alright, battle! Oh, damn! What, well, what do you know? It's the big boss I just beat, and he just got his ass kicked by a lizard! Ta! Wow, that was cheap. Okay, let's, you know what? Let's do this. These two are getting rotted. Normal. Take. Let's see here. Ah, I see. Items. One. Two. Interesting. Let's examine this. Huh. Let's repair the stables and store this. I want to examine him. So, I bred together a snake and a wasp, and I got a wasp. Okay. Um, a little weird, but alright, whatever. I didn't really expect too much, to be honest, but I thought it would have done something. You know, make my wasp a normal wasp or something. Hmm. Mildly disappointing. Mildly disappointing. Now we can see that my background here, or not my background, but my border, is now a lovely green. Green foresty kind of look there to show off how my alignment is more towards the positive right now. Uh, Renown is 138. Business skill is 50. It's not too bad. Alright, let's end the day. Sure, I guess we can save. Oh, you've been to Greenleaf for a turn with the hilt. Honestly, never expected you to get that far. Before I make you hand it over, I'll tell you why I want it. Just in case you decide to... You want to serve me by choice. People of Greenleaf have been exposed to magic for a long time, so though they don't know what, they are magically susceptible. I want to go to Greenleaf, kill them all, and raise them as powerful undead army. Need the sword in order to lead my army out of the forest. Will you give me the hilt or are you settled on helping the uh, half breed Razzlin? Refuse. Fool. You stupid, useless undertaker looking son of a. Oh, damn. 
Been knocked out cold, and it looks like Thistle has stolen the sword hilt. Gain 10 point of his alignment towards Ursot. Or Rost, whatever it is. Ursot? Either way. Either way. Now I go back into the well and kick her ass. Or not. Nope, there ain't no kick in her ass, I guess. So it looks like she was gonna take it regardless, but yeah, that sucks. <laughs> not like she can do anything with it. Hopefully. Alright, let's end the day once again. Don't even bother sleeping this time around. Don't forget to build more bedrooms. Having more rooms means you get more patrons. Teleportation stone on the ground. It can take you other places, I know. Harder quests means harder enemies. Longer trips to the forest. They also provide better rewards. I would hope so. Two patrons left. Two patrons arrived. And they paid me crap. Traveling shopkeeper has up in your grounds. Ooh. Mathis Gambridge, I know you are. So no point denying it. You're coming with me. Wait, what the fuck is going on here? Welcome to my court, the court of the Elven King. The new keep of the Fortress Tavern. Uh, according to rumors, there is something special about you. Stop abducting me, you bastards! Seriously! Jesus! Ah! Wouldn't believe all the rumors, he looks nothing special to me. Indeed. Regardless, I hear you are becoming quite renowned amongst the Elves and Fair Folk. Heard that he's not discriminating against the servants of the Lich Lord either. Indeed. Despite that, I have summoned you to make you an offer. Having renown amongst my people is one thing, but if you wish to earn my favor, you must increase your alignment with uh, Eroset. Increase your positive renown, I will reward you. Increase it enough, we may even pay you a visit. Ah uh ha -huh, ha, royal visit. I'm bored of this one now. I'll be off with you. Remember, if you increase your renown with Antila, you'll become our enemy. Well, screw you. Anyway, let's take a look around here and see who our new patrons be. This guy kind of looks new. Woodstriker. Lacking wits, but I prefer to keep my own counsel. When you're chopping along the outskirts of the forest, loading up and making uh, sure everybody has the opportunity to purchase enough to get there uh, through the winter, you don't need to get a good conversation. I enjoy the chopping, and I know the folks like to stay warm. I'm pretty worn out. Heard any rumors? Okay, so we're gonna have to go for a magical item. Lovely. How about you, sir? My charm, my good looks, my... Oh, yeah, no. Can I hire you? 15%. Nice, so I now got a new manager. And this one's gonna give me 15% rather than 5%. That's pretty good. Bye. Whoops, I actually didn't mean to keep talking to him. So I'm assuming that the new patrons are going to be upstairs here. Hmm, I would have expected them to be up here. Let's go see the shopkeeper that set up shop around here. It could be that this game is actually quite uh, interesting down the road. You just have to, you know, get past the initial... The initial, uh, what the hell, block in the road. Pleasure is all mine. It brings you to Fortress Tavern this day. My specialty uh, brews, the finest ever change of company. Or perhaps the, uh, something more dangerous. Okay. Can I hire you? No, I got someone that's already giving me 15%. So we got a quest for a recipe now. What do you have? Ooh, Drailer Moss is quite nice, but no thank you. No thank you. How many quests do I have now? Two, so I'm gonna get one more. If you'll give me one. Ah, another magic lighting quest. Alright, fine, let's just do it. Not that it matters too much. It'd be nice if I could actually, you know, examine the pet and have, like, stats with him. 
since he is my main attacker, you know, it'd be nice if he actually leveled up for me and I could tweak him however I need to. Oh, yes. Eh, let's go with the easy one. Oh, I didn't want to save, but screw it. Screw it. Do it anyway. Wow, getting obliterated. My wasp shows no mercy. Tis the way it should be. Alright, my wasp friend, let's go. It's Barney! Alright, let's see what we got here. 32 gold, can I go down the well? Nope, alright, moving on. Moving along, moving along. It is always best if I actually kill them. I'm gonna save my mana though for the normal mission. That's gonna give me a lot more than what these guys will give me. Come, my little wasp friend. Finish them for me. We ain't got all day. 32 gold. Problem being that I have to seem... Uh, yeah, it seems like I have to get the finishing shot on them or they will not drop anything. Like that, I hit him with two fireballs, almost got killed, and I didn't drop damn thing. So I have to be the last shot. The mo if the wasp then takes care of them, I get nothing for it, so it's wasting my magic for nothing. Alright, quest completed. Renowned by seven, sure, return to the tavern. Yay, I found a mysterious cheese cutting board or something, whatever, I don't really care. Anyway, let's get this recipe and hope it's actually something decent for once. Man, like I only have, I still only have one recipe I can actually make use of. No, I don't want to save. Just go. Just go, man. Just go. There we go. That took a little bit of uh, maneuvering. Oh, another rod to poke in creatures and hope I get a good result. Oh crap, oh that's not good. I'm getting stunned and obliterated right now. Ouch, that, that should have been my death right there. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that I did not die. And almost sad that I did not die in that situation where I totally should have been just doomed. It's funny that I'm actually sad I didn't die, but you know, come on. That just means it's being too damn easy. Alright, let's keep going and finish this. It's time to finish this fight. Mojo, Mojo. Well, Mojo and Cash. And we're away. And it's the same damn area with no loot. Moving on. And we're done. Recipe for river slime soup. Huh. Mildly intriguing. Find the insane bread of elf kind. I don't know why I would want to eat an insane uh, bread of elf kind, but alright, what's it? Alright, fine, fine, fine. Save, I don't care. Just move on. Just move on, damn it. 45 gold. Good job, my wasp friend. Ah, I miss every time. Yay, I actually freaking managed to kill one. Now I'm out of mana. Oh well, I'll just have to spend my time reviving my bee then. Oh shit, and I'm GG'd. I got stunned with one hit and just obliterated. <laughs> like your predecessors, you have failed. Though you evaded madness, 
and poverty, you could not evade the icy hand of death. Well, that's a damn shame. Well, that's a damn shame. So, yeah, I just got instant killed there. Pretty much. One stun and I was done. Like, can I not equip some, like, armor or something here? Damn it. What the hell just happened? I think I just got blinded for a second there. Maybe I used the blind ability, and what the heck was that? It's like someone just whipped his hat across the area or something. Weird. Maybe this uh, wasp gained into a whirlwind-like ability. That is a freaking dragon. Holy crap, son. All them bodies. All them poor dead bodies. All right. What the? More moss. There's not really anything else here, except, of course, all the bodies. I kind of wonder if he somehow created some random map elements, or if he just created variations of the same maps with a couple new uh, objects around it. And just told it to pick from them. That's more. I, I would assume that's the more likely thing that happened. It would take a lot more effort effort to create an actual like full on map randomizer. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Run away! Run away! Save me, my companion. Blood candle. Meh. I'll sell it. Make some cash. Oh, jeez. Look at this. We got the knight coming in here. Dragon in. Oh, jeez. I thought he actually died. Let's see what we got this time. 32 gold. 10 gold. Moss. Moving on. Anything in here? Nope. It's just the same damn map I was just on. It's weird how it does that sometimes. Anyway, we got what I got what we wanted. We got 16 human renown, so let's go ahead and leave. All right, time for a time for a pit fight. I was kind of wondering if somebody would set up a shop there, and it looks like they did. 786 gold. Ah, not bad. Could use more though. Obviously, obviously. Range of creature battle. Two beasts here to fight it out for our amusement. Oh, nice! And the scorpion wins. So I got 405. Oh man, getting a better manager is definitely huge. Just massively increased the amount of profit I got from that. And again, there's nothing else I can really do right now, so I might as well just tell him to pass out and blah blah blah. Yeah, no. Um, small bedrooms. There's no one in our special bedrooms yet. Let me make sure I actually have everything up here unlocked. I believe I do. Repair the small bedroom for 750 cash. Sure. I got no problem with that. How much money do I have left? Nope, not enough. Alright then. Sure, whatever. Sure. One patron left and one patron arrived. With all the rooms I'd have, I would be... Well, I feel so strange, although I'm being pulled from my own body. Oh, jeez. What the hell? Welcome to my home. Don't worry about my pets, they're almost completely tame. Oh jeez. Nice wings. Who are you? And why have you brought me here? I'm not surprised you don't know me, considering my title tends to throw people off. I am the Lich Lord. So I suppose you're wondering why I've summoned a lowly tavern keeper to speak with me? Because Fortune Tavern is one of the magically powerful places in the world? Did you know that? I doubt you did. Those four sprites must be a devilish lot. And apologies, I'm... 
the hell's calling me? I will call you back later. Uh, they never give away any more information than they need to. I can see by your expression I am right. Well, I'm not going to fill you in. Not yet. You're becoming quite popular amongst my people. Continue to serve my people, align yourself with Antila, and you'll earn the favor of the Lich Lord. I'll be off with you. Uh, I wasn't doing anything for you. Yeah, and I got a new book magically appearing into my hands. Yay! Okay, let's see who's here. Actually, if I check here, it'll tell me. Uh, nope, nobody is using any of the special bedrooms yet. So, you guys I all know. Let's check upstairs. No, there's no one up here. Special area? Nope. Can't just jump off the rail here? Aw, oh, shame. Shame. I'd like a rumor, please. Rumor, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Ah, what I really want is egg rumors. But they're not giving me any wankers. How dare they? How dare they? Ah, here we go. You're new. Talk to me. What's your background? Gambling, running a gambling den for the best part of a decade. Are you ready for a change? Heard the political rumblings afoot at the moment? I really don't care. Let me guess, you are, as a rogue, able to plan and carry out subversive missions against your rival tavern keepers across the land. Been raised to the rank of novice, the rogue's guild will uh, set up camp on your rounds for a thousand gold. No. I'd rather get someone better. Heard any rumors for me? So, we got three quests. Actually, let me try getting a fourth one, maybe. See if I can possibly unlock something. Nope. Three quests, still my limit. So, we got find the glorious stein of future past. Uh, find the bronze napkins of attraction. And holy crap, an impossible rank mission. Damn. Well, you know what? I'm going to just, just to end this off on an interesting note, I'm going to do the impossible rank mission. Sorry, I already got an amazing manager. I do not need you. I want to see if I can hire anybody. Nope. I did not believe so. So we have no heroes I can hire. And that mysterious water god or whatever isn't there. So I can't hire him either. Oh, well, let's do this. Impossible mission. Ho! Full health, full mana. All of which I'll probably blow on this mission. Same thing for my mojo leaves. Purple skeleton creatures. Yay. Wow. It took quite a beating to kill. I mean, look at these guys. They're like freaking Speedy Gonzalez here. Jeez. The chest is empty. I am being mocked. I haven't gotten any leveling at level at all here so far in the past while. Thought I was supposed to get some experience from this creature fighting, but it's... You know, I haven't gotten a damn thing so far. I'd be disappointed if that wasn't leveling me. Also, I'd be likely to be screwed. As I would not get any stronger. It'd be ironic as well if the only way for me to level up would be to fight myself, in which case, why should I have a bring, be bringing a pet at all if I don't get anything from it other than just, you know, extra damage? Damn. No way in hell a easy wasp should have been able to take down, like, three frickin' phoenixes and that griffin. That is way too easy. Too OP! Too OP! Boof! Down with the system, man! Down with the system! This way, my minion. Attack! Kill him for me. 
Thank you. Oh, it's the lovely miss. No, I would not like to buy a Mojo Leaf. So if you had eggs and I had, well, money, which I don't, I think it's a thousand just for a freaking small egg. Ugh. Then, yeah, I would love to, but, yeah, it's not going to happen right now. Yay, I gained money. Oops. I'm trying to kill him myself, but it's proving to be a little more difficult than I thought it'd be. Because he doesn't want to line up to me. There we go, I got him. Woo! Okay, let's revive my pet. Now that I've kicked some ass here, finally, let's revive my pet. And I don't even get that much cash for that either. I, well, no, I'm over a thousand now, so damn. These impossible rank guys give me some decent... Decent cha-ching, that's for sure. Ah, damn wasp. Oh, it's lame that I need that thing, and I don't get anything from it killing things. Lame. Oh, jeez. Back off, back off! I don't want to die! Chest is empty. As all the chests turn out to be empty, that would be... Oh, there's a bug. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Get on down there, my friend. Let me heal up while I'm at it. Oh, jeez. Black scorpions. The worst kind. Evil. What is that uh, black scorpion called? I don't think it's just... What is it? King scorpion, I think? I think that's king scorpion. Well, most scorpions are black, but there's... At least, I don't know. I'm not a reptile guy, alright? And I got my ass kicked, finally. But honestly... Let me pause this here. Honestly, I probably could have easily made it through that impossible mission just by reviving that pet and just getting it done. So it's... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I'm definitely not feeling it. So, yeah, that's likely the last I will probably do on this game. Just because it's not really... It's not too bad for a $10 game. You know, you're not going to... You're not going to lose out if you only have 10 bucks and you buy this game over something else, you know. It's still a decent enough game. So if you want to play something like this, you know, it's there. The option's there. So uh, definitely do check it out. Though I swear, lately on Steam, it just seems like anything and everything is getting allowed onto Steam. There's like an entire list here of, uh, let me go to Steam here. Freaking games coming soon that are just... Like, ridiculous. Like, uh, Trap Dead uh, Lockdown here. Really now. It's like we played how many of those games? Because we have Space Battle, slightly interesting. Factions, meh. Runestone Keeper, maybe. Uh, World of Subways 4, really? I mean, why? You got, like, really, uh, really young kid games like this here. 12 Labors of Hercules. That just seems like it'd be absolute crap. Out of the park baseball. A baseball simulator. So some people... I don't even think it's an actual baseball sim. I'm just showing it's just like uh, coaching kind of thing. So build your own team and see how well they do. So there just seems like just random amounts of crap are just getting tossed on Steam lately. And it's terrible. Like, damn. I'd almost wish I could give it up. But, you know, some of the main good games do still get on there. So, meh. Anyway. You guys have yourselves a fine day, and uh, hopefully I will see you all another time with uh, some more interesting, uh, well, this was a full release game, but, you know, just more interesting games. Till then, peace out, have a great one.